Well, hey, this is Chase, and uh, I'm on my new laptop, and I just kind of discovered a really cool feature that is not only working in Google Chrome, the browser I'm using, uh, but it's also working on Safari. And what I'm talking about is using your voice to have the computer, my Mac, it's actually a MacBook Pro that I just purchased uh, in the last couple weeks, <clears throat> and how well it works just by telling uh, Google search and also other programs uh, to and it'll just t you just talk and it'll type for you so let's do a quick uh, search by voice on Google so all I have to do is just click that <clears throat> and then it will start uh, recognizing my voice and obviously that didn't work so I'm gonna have to go back okay and I'll uh, be quiet and think of something and you'll watch it search by my voice. How to get to Denver from Fort Collins, Colorado. Denver is one hour and seven minutes from Fort Collins by car in light traffic. Here are your directions. Hey, I didn't even realize they would uh, talk back to me. That was pretty darn cool. So let's just do back. Let's go back to another one and say... <clears throat> What is the time in the United Kingdom? The time in the United Kingdom is 3.08 a.m. Hey, Roger, I'm sure you're sleeping. I hope you are. Let's do one more. It's kind of fun. <clears throat> what is the best small business for 2014? And there's the search. Okay, so that's pretty darn cool. Obviously, that worked really well, and Google has integrated this uh, search by voice feature, but I'm going to switch over to Safari right now, and I'm in my Gmail account, <clears throat> as you can see, and uh, Sherry's a good friend of mine, and I just, I just spoke this message back to her, and I'm going to repeat it again, because on Safari, um, it naturally has this uh, dictation method where you can just talk, and it'll type for you. So I said, way to go, Sherry. I think that is a great series of keywords. We were talking about keywording stuff, and I said, keep up the great work with an exclamation mark. And then I said, talk to you later. So I'm going to go ahead and hit reply, <clears throat> and just I'll repeat what I said, and you'll see how it uh, literally takes what I say and turns it into type. So for me on a Mac, to get this to work, all you have to do is hit the function key, which is in the lower, lower, lower left side, lower left side, and you just hit it twice, and then you can begin dictating. So watch this. Way to go, Sherry. I think that is a great series of keywords, period. Keep up the great work, exclamation mark. Talk to you later, period. And then I just hit done, and uh, really the only problem it had was it didn't know how to spell Sherry, and she spells it with an I. So all I would really have to do is um, change that. And look at, the, I mean, it's just amazing how well that worked. And I could even come down to another line, <clears throat> and uh, if I have more uh, information to say, I can just start it again. Again, all I, hit the, all I have to do is hit the function key twice. And it'll bring up the speech to text. So, Sherry, uh, as you will probably see, I am recording a video that shows how to speak and have your computer type the text for you. Period. I bet you can hardly wait to get a Mac! Exclamation mark. Okay, so that's, I mean, that's just darn near. I mean, certainly there's one or two little minor problems that I can fix. <clears throat> but um, I didn't have to type a lot. So the potential, I think, for people that haven't been on good on computers is really nice. So I'll just say, um, well, let's just close it off, say... Hope the weather in Texas is uh, nice and warm for you. And I hope you have uh, a great holiday season, uh, especially for Christmas, period. 
Okay, so that is awesome. I mean, I didn't, you know, there's one little capital A there, so I can change that. But uh, that is pretty fantastic. So I've already sent uh, this email back to her, and it'll be a little weird for Sherry. And actually, I, can, I could have uh, corrected her name there. Okay. But uh, I just had some, I thought I'd do this quick video and show you the cool things of a Mac. I know. Um, and uh, hopefully um, you'll at least learn about, um, if you have a built-in microphone, how you can use Google uh, Voice to help you search. It may not work everywhere else, but uh, on a Mac it does. It, it just works anytime you hit the function key. And uh, I can even do it here. Uh, search for the best restaurant in Denver for Mexican food. Okay, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> and it was still recording. So, um, obviously you could take that out and do that search. Um, it's a little bit different because I had to hit the search button, right? So Google does it really nice uh, for you. You can just... Uh, Click search by voice and let me think of something else. <clears throat> when do the Denver Broncos play next? The Broncos are playing the Chargers on Thursday at 6 25 p.m. Ah, that's pretty good information. You can't beat it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you have a Mac, uh, I'm sure this will be fun for you. And if you don't have a Mac, maybe it's time to get one. I don't know. Have a great uh, day, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.